Preparing for a two-week road trip is all about just making sure you pack all the right gear, all the right bikes. Mountain bikes are like golf clubs. you got to have your putter, your driver, especially when you're going out on a trip like this where you're going into the unknown and basically ready to just tackle any terrain that's put in front of you. And so if you go into it with a, just a, an open mind and a good attitude and you try to enjoy every situation you're put into, even if it may be something that you've never done before, then you're going to get the most out of a road trip like this. It was pretty cool to just end up on the middle of nowhere at the bottom of New Zealand. Uh, the sun was firing. No better person to take you around New Zealand than the, uh, the president of New Zealand himself, Kevin McGarry. So day two on a DH bike, got out into the hills. We did some trail riding and got onto a downhill bike and it was awesome. But trying to get used to such a big, heavy bike with that much suspension, it's pretty much a motorcycle without a motor. So it was a good learning experience that way. Wherever we happen to end up that day, we just kind of cruise around until we found a good place to pitch our tents. Directions? What? Oh, directions. Well, that might help. Maybe. Okay, so there should be a lot more of those things. There's only one they have in French, English, French, German, Spaniel, and Puerto Rican or something. You can fit two people like sardines. Once it gets dark and, and the only thing that, that gives you warmth is that campfire, it's like that's the only place to be. So everybody hangs out and after a few beers everybody lets loose a little bit. And I guess everybody bought these crazy New Zealand souvenir instruments in Queenstown. Everybody had an instrument, everybody was playing, but nobody was really playing together. So I'm sure it sounded great to us in our six beer stupor, but when we listen to it back, it's probably going to be something that we say was somebody else making those noises. <laughs> It was the first moment everybody realized, all right, we're out of the city now, we're doing a road trip. When we showed up at the beach, we knew that we were supposed to ride the waves, and there they were breaking, we had surfboards, so that was what really kicked us up into gear.
massive, like huge barrels. I got barreled, but without my surfboard. Sweet head out in uh, Craigieburn. Really, really high takeoff, like maybe a 20 foot high takeoff and uh, 30 foot long. And the boys sessioned it pretty hard. Kurt was just trying to be the first Canadian in space. Funny taking Pilgrim and Kagi on their first scree slope and I think as soon as we threw our bikes on our back they're kind of confused what we were doing. Big mountain isn't exactly my forte but I was uh, forced into climbing, no hiking up a mountain face. Uh, when I got to the top it was actually worth it though you know stunning views but then I was like damn I've actually got to ride down this huge mountain face that I've climbed up and um, yeah it was actually amazing. No matter what kind of riding we do, whether it's a contest, empty single track, a park or a huge hip out in the middle of nowhere, at the end of the day it's all about having fun on a bike and there's nowhere else we'd rather be. Oh, in